The standard is very high now. You know, there's so many good singers that have come on here. Do you like me like this? Do you like me like that? We forget how tough that is to come out oh, here. Yeah. yeah. You only got one chance. Yeah, you, you only got one, one chance. chance. Yeah. Do you want to give up? Do you want to survive? Is this the last of the night? You got one more now. That's it. I'm Johnny Brooks. I'm 28. And I'm from Castle Dawson in Ireland. In the last few years, I've done a number of different jobs. Sold solar panels. I've been a suit salesman. I managed the cafe. I currently work as a janitor in Belfast Cathedral. I mean, you name it. I've done pretty much everything you can try. <laughs> but music, for me, has been the one constant thing throughout my life. In primary school, I was in the choir. At that time, I was playing on the football team. <laughs> like the last thing people expected is to see this guy that plays football to come out and give his rendition of Eagle Eye Cherry Save the Night. Yeah. <laughs> when I turned 11 and got my own guitar, that's when it became cool. It was that time when it, when it finally sort of struck a chord with me. No pun intended. <laughs> it was actually my mum that put me forward for the audition. It's the kick that I needed in the right direction. You need to just tidy yourself up there and <laughs> you're going on stage, you know. Oh, Johnny's a laid back character. <laughs> Make me proud and everybody else. Make yourself proud. He uh, doesn't like to stress too much, so I do all that for him. Probably won't like me to say that. <laughs> You'll enjoy it even more when you see one of those chairs turn. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> This is the biggest opportunity that, that I've ever had. You know, I've gigged, I've grafted, busked. This could completely change my life. So, no pressure. My name's Johnny Brooks, I'm 29, and I work as a janitor in a cathedral. 
Nice. I loved it so much because it felt so powerful. What I loved is there was this one moment in the song where it just went quiet in here and you, you didn't say anything and you could just feel everyone in the room was just listening to every single note you were singing and the story that you were telling. Yeah. It was really, really fantastic. So well Thank done. You all. Loved Thank it. You. captured it. You owned that song. Thank you. It's a Van Morrison song. You sang it, you delivered it, you captured the room. And that's not easy to do with a song like that. It's a tender song. Yeah. And, and you lived it. I wanted to hear as much of it as I could, <laughs> but as soon as it got down to the wire, I had to hit the button. I, I thought it was great. Thank you, Tom. Listen, I panicked. <laughs> Your voice is butter. It was great. That was one of the coolest moments of the entire day. Mm. I thought you were going to turn. I, I thought it was too, and I freaked out, and I panicked. I should have listened to you guys. They're all like, do it. I made the wrong move, but hopefully I can sue you later. So I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> great job. Thanks for coming here. Thank you're you, awesome. Mary. Thank you. Blew it. Um, I know. You have a spectacular voice, and I know the show is called The Voice, but you look like a superstar as well. You stand the part, you sing the part, you look the part, you vibrate the part. I think you're awesome. And you're in good hands with Tom and Holly. This is a big moment for you to pick your coach, but at the same time, I think me and Tom will both say, whoever you decide to pick, me and Tom will, will give you Yes, two different coaches, but our goal is to, to, to give you the best experience and yeah. get you as far as possible in this competition. So, it. it's Thank completely you. up to you. Thank you. It's your moment now to pick who you want to be coached with on this season. The crowd will help you with that decision. I hope they pick the right one. I think I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick to my guns on this one. I'm gonna go with the Tom. Yeah. I'm excited to talk with Sir Tom Jones. It's surreal.